A woman has a suspected broken collarbone after being slammed into the side of her home during a tornado in New Plymouth this morning. Roofs were lifted, windows blown in, and a woman needed ambulance treatment after the car she was travelling in was struck by a flying trampoline while travelling on State Highway 3. Our Taranaki Whanganui reporter Robin Martin has more. The twister came in off the sea and touched down at about 9.30 this morning. It cut a swathe through the New Plymouth Golf Club, felling trees and tossing aside shelters before ripping a roof off a home in Bell Block. A wayward trampoline briefly halted traffic heading in and out of the city as the tornado crossed State Highway 3 before slamming into John Bamford's farmhouse a couple of kilometres away on Paraitai Road in Leperton. Mr Bamford says it came out of nowhere. I was sitting at the table having my breakfast, my wife was outside, suddenly heard this big roar. It was raining, then it just went a big roar, and up it came, and suddenly there was shit yarn everywhere, and uh, picked up my outside table, threw it through the conservatory window, it went through the, came through the room, ripped the window out in the lounge, ripped the ceiling down the lounge, threw shit everywhere around, um, carried on and then started demolishing trees and ripped the front fence out. Mr Bamford said his wife Maxine was in the wrong place at the wrong time. She was outside I think feeding two orphan lambs and um, I think the, the wind that got her and threw her against the house and it's broken a collarbone that's all I don't know at this stage she's a bit I don't know if she's concussed or bloody uh, just, um, just um, what do you call it bloody shock. <laughs> St John's Ambulance confirmed that it transferred one patient who had suffered moderate injuries from Paraitai Road to Taranaki Base Hospital. The service also attended to a woman whose car had been struck by a trampoline on State Highway 3. She did not need hospital treatment. Before crossing the highway, the twister had wrecked the roof on Wayne Jury's two-year-old home on Cook Farm Grove, disturbing his breakfast as it did so. But I was watching out the, out the dining room ranch slider because we'd heard a bit of a noise, and next minute it all went misty, you know, and next minute the fence just started plucking off, so I just raced out, away out of the line of the window, and tipped up the barbecue table and hit that sideways into the ranch slider and smashed the barbecue table, but I wasn't looking the rest of the time. When I opened my eyes again sort of thing, I came out and here's all, all this, I couldn't believe it. Linda Jury was just happy no one in the cul-de-sac had been injured. It's only a house, isn't it? If no one was injured, that it could have been real bad with the um, tin that was flying around and the roof. When you see how big some of the bits are that have flown, it's just unbelievable what it's done. Kiara Parks was on her way to school when she saw the jury's roof take off. I was just driving down the road to school and then I looked in my rearview mirror and I just saw all the roof like, come over my car. And I, just, I didn't really know what it was. I thought like a house just got struck with lightning or something, so I just carried on. Then I went on the highway to go to school and like cars, a few cars have crashed. And that's when my nana called me because nana's my neighbour and she was like, um, you better come home. The jury's roof had smashed into the front of the 17-year-old's family home. Her neighbour, Beverly Webster, saw it coming. We were over at the daughter-in-law's having a coffee. We just finished a coffee because their lounge looks down here. It was so, so calm. I said to Lena, there's no wind, it's the calm before the storm. And then next thing, oops, hello, there's roof flying, there's debris flying everywhere. So we just grabbed the dogs and ran into the lounge and we found all this mess now. I'm still shaken. Met Service meteorologist Lewis Ferris says the weather radar had shown signs of a possible tornado this morning and there is a chance of more thunderstorms tonight with small tornadoes also a possibility. A couple more bands could be thrown that way throughout the afternoon, evening and into the nighttime period where we still have a moderate risk for severe thunderstorms through until midnight tonight um, with a high risk for thunderstorms. So we've encompassed damaging winds with that and small tornadoes possible. And if you do find yourself in the midst of a tornado, take a word of advice from John Bamford. Get out of the way. <laughs> what, what, what did you think was happening? I suddenly saw that run and I thought, it's a tornado. And now, uh, how do you stop it? <laughs> and you can't. <laughs> I know now. <laughs> PowerCo says about 800 properties were without power this morning due to storm damage 
but by this afternoon the number of customers affected in New Plymouth, Inglewood and Waitara was about 500. Inamutu Motihotaka o te ahi ponei, ko Robin Martinaho.